Welcoming guys to AWW for the 6th of the 10th 2021 and we started off with the Elite um, versus Jurassic Express and Christian and Brian. It was a great opener for Dynamite. Um, Elite go, uh, going over. Then we have Darby Allen versus Nick Camaraderie. This, this match should have been why is Nick Camaraderie not with the Jurassic Express? It makes total sense. You could have Luchasaurus as a He's a dinosaur. You got Jungle Boy, who's Jungle Boy, and then you have Nick Kamadri, who's yeah. You can have, be an actual caveman. It just makes sense. But again, AEW kind of leaving money on the table. Um, but one thing that shocked me about that about the match before is that Jungle Boy he he actually ate the pin in this match in the last match. Um, and then this Darby Allen Nick Kamadri match. Darby Allen goes over, but why are we why are we consistently featuring QT Marshall? QT Marshall shouldn't be the feature. You should be featuring. What is the appeal with QT Marshall? I don't get the whole appeal with his character, and why is he with this whole nightmare family bullshit? And um, Nick Kamadri needs to be with Jurassic Express. It just makes it. It just makes sense. Here's a caveman, here's the dinosaur, and here's the, the boy. It just makes money. But again, AEW, again, don't know. They just kind of leave money on the table. And I'm like, this is money. Kids are going to gravitate to this. It'd be a great, you could sell books with this, comic books, um, mask. When you have um, caveman, you have a caveman, you have a dinosaur and a boy who's in this thousand year galactical world that makes money come on AEW um, then we have this Cody Rhodes Arn Anderson Arn Anderson is burning Cody's suits and stuff and he wants him to basically change and stop being a coward and turn heel Cody Rhodes needs to turn heel and he's gonna like Cody Rhodes is a natural heel this whole thing about him being a baby is, is sucks and and he needs to turn heel because he's a natural heel. He's not. He's he can be the biggest heel in your company. You know, and people say, "Oh, what about MJF?" But Cody Rhodes can get natural great heel because he's not a likable person in real life. We've all known about the whole thing what Cody said in the past about Vince doesn't hold anybody down and how many times he's he's done other things that uh, and he, and whatever. Like this could be a guy that. You can make, like, yeah, you can have him against Cody versus Adam Cole, Cody versus Kenny Omega when you turn in face, Cody versus Brian Danielson. Like, this guy could be like, I have a reign of terror, kind of like a Triple H, and and he's like, because his ego's this big, everybody's got to go through me, and Cody puts himself the world title on him, on himself. Then you have Brandy as well. Could you imagine because? And then they say that the reality stars, they play off that whole thing of, oh, we're on reality TV now. Um, but then we had uh, Sheeta versus um, Serena D. Why was this on D Dynamite? Why? Like, why was this on Dynamite? Serena D, the whole thing was to set up for Serena D's heel turn and, and, she, um, and to um, f do this match with Serena D and Sheeta, which I don't care about. And with this forbidden door, they should be having people like your Sheeta's and your Dante Martin, who had a segment with Malachi Black, um, as well on Dynamite. You should be having those like Dante Martin and um, Sheeta. You should be having them on Impact Wrestling, and having them get featured on a lesser television scale, so they're ready for actual TV. Because you've got so many people that you're trying to feature, and it's like. Here's one guy, here's another girl. Here's, there's too many people in your feature. You just feature so many people that have got storylines. Stop making every week, it's like you're adding a storyline. Not everybody needs to be featured on the show. If to feature the people that you need to feature on the show to actually sell and get people invested in your company. The people that you're pushing, that you you should be putting those guys and girls on your television, on your main show, Dynamite, rampages for pe rampages for the, the people um, that don't get on Dynamite, that need that extra TV exposure, but it's not going to be a bigger scale than than Rampage, but they're not ready for for Dynamite yet. 
and the whole thing with Impact sends all these guys from AEW to Impact Wrestling, like the Dante Martin, put him in the X Division, and put him in so at the NWA, and then when he's got his character, when he's got when he's got all the character and and he's got fair the mic, then you can bring him back in onto Dynamite. Um, then we have Bobby Fish with Sam Guevara. Um, this match was a solid match. Um, Bobby uh, Sam Guevara goes over. Um, America's top team. Uh, they beat up Gen they beat up Sam Guevara and Sigo Del Sol, and he comes out. Um, and then this sets up to a six man tag match for the Miami um, Dynamite they're gonna have. I think that in November. Um, then Punk comes out. Um, he basically cuts a promo and basically just challenges um, Danny Garcia to a match on Rampage. Um, then we have the main event of the night. No, before that we had we had a acclaimed promo segment and a video package of the acclaimed and the, basically they won the title shot at the um, Lucha Bros and. Then we had um, the new TBS women's title um, gain unveiled, and yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. Maybe put it on something like a Jay Cargill, or yeah, Jay Cargill has to win that TSP t t TBS title. Uh, then we get to the main event of the night. It was um, the casino battle, the casino ladder match. It was Adam Page, Matt Hardy, Orange Cassidy, Marx, Lance Archer, and the return of I said Adam Page and Neville. No, not Neville. Pack and Andrade. Um, Adam Page wins the match. He will face Kenny Omega maybe at full gear. Um, which I think I don't mind Adam Page being a normal contender, but I thought the whole idea was to have Brian win the title at full gear. Like you're having this whole build up with Brian's going through the elite. He had faced Nick Jackson last Friday. He was in this tag match a few weeks, well, like a couple of days ago with the elite. Like you, you, I thought he was going to build up to this. He had that match with Kenny at the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Um, you should be building up for Kenny versus Brian. Kenny. Versus Brian, maybe um, Adam Page can cash in his chip and have it whenever. But right now, it should be Brian versus Omega. I know Brian. I know Adam Page is over, but it should be Brian versus Omega. It makes sense. Like you're just gonna shoehorn Adam Page in this match, in this feud. Well, like, people say, oh, well, he's in the elite and he was whatever. But right now it's Brian versus Omega. That should be the whole thing. And then after that, maybe you could have a triple threat match. But right now it should be Brian versus Omega for um, uh, full gear. And then you can have Adam Page and whoever the world champion is whenever. But um, that's my review, guys, of uh, Dynamite. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And peace.